it's kind of embarrassing. I'm on a, like episode 20, probably like four or something, still having trouble with this area. Learning a lot though. Uh, oh right, yes, 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 that's Orc Smash kicking ass. What are we doing right now? Oh, better dialogues completed. Right, okay, so we're at two million. Two million's a good amount. Right, and this is the marketing research. Right, we have no research points though, so we have to... Okay, have I done staff management? I have not. Let's do staff management. Let's pick up a person. Only gonna spend like 300,000 though, because I actually saw somebody spend two million on one, on one um, training thing, looking for people. And it didn't turn out very good. They didn't find. It was actually kind of sad. Just like a bunch of level two people. They were kind of, kind of poopy, really, for two million. It's like I had better luck with two hundred thousand. So it is so random that I'm just gonna say screw it, and we're just gonna go like I get it, right? And I'm just gonna spend like two hundred thousand, and we're gonna go with. Let's see here. I'm the balanced guy. Having a design guy is really good for RPGs and stuff like that. However, I still need a tech guy so I can do things like game design, level design, um, engine probably, I'd imagine probably AI, things like that. I need somebody with tech. I had no tech. I was too focused before, and that is a problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to go with, at the start, we'll go with showreel. See if I can find a really good design person. We can still roll out some pretty good RPGs. We'll look for a tech person a little later on. This is the interesting thing because I'm not sure if I should go for just one more person and start rolling on some small games or go for a second person and start rolling on some small games. I figure with just spending 200,000 getting up a couple people like Drew, Drew Darp, Darpishin? Like Drew Darpishin here. If I were to pick up a couple of him, that'd be okay, because it's not much money spent looking for people. Look at this. These are these are pretty decent for the little amount I spent. I mean, speed and research is high on this dude. 21000 a month. He is also the most expensive. That's fine. Let's go for it. And you know what? Right. Yep, got it. I'm going to look for another person, too. We're only spending like 200,000, so why not? And we'll go for complex algorithms. We'll go for a tech guy. You, sir, go ahead and... No, not research. Go ahead and train. The welcoming training only costs 10,000. Um, I can't really do much. <laughs> I'll just kind of wait for a bit. Jake Parks isn't horrible. The speed and research aren't too great on these people. This guy's pretty good, though. Only level 1, so design and tech are pretty low. However, speed and research is pretty good on him. Over 200 each for those. Only 11,000 a month. Um, it is mostly tech, however... Bradley Campbell, I think, is probably the way to go here. Jake Parks... Isn't awful. 122, 220, 277... Eh. 162. He's not bad. His research is a little lower, but... Nah, fuck it. Let's go with Bradley Campbell. There we go. Welcome aboard, sir. Welcoming training. And as soon as you finish up, we'll see if we can do a quick little cheap contract while we wait. I don't have any research points at all. Five weeks, 10 and 10. Should be able to do that. Maybe. Holy shit. God damn, we're slow. Oh my god, we're so slow. I'm watching a playthrough right now, and she's got, like, everybody she's got is ridiculously fast. It's like, I don't even know how they do it. They type crazy quick, I guess. Oh my god, would you leave me alone? So many windows. Oh, come on, tech points, come on, tech points, come on, tech points. Oh my god, we barely got that. Ugh. Alright, you guys are all trained up. We're all good. Is there another quick contract we can do? Because we are losing money here. Five weeks for a 15-3. We just did a 10-10. and 10. I think we'll be okay to do this. Let's try it. We got three people turning away on it. We're still trying to get used to everything. Everybody's trying to, like, organize their desks. 
Still trying to figure out who likes what kind of coffee. Right? Okay. Good. We're doing it. Alright. Let's go for another contract work. Ooh. That one's a bit tricky. Ooh, that one's even trickier. But nine weeks, though. Hmm. Let's try it. Nine weeks. Ooh, the Vena gear. All right. God, we are so far back. Year four, just under $2 million. Not going to go for a medium game quite yet. But then again, see, I'm being told a couple different things. I'm being told, go with a publisher deal straight away as soon as you can. Spend a little bit on training, get a couple people, do a medium game, get some fans first. But I've also seen doing just small games with this small crew, getting really good small games. And, um... I can't even do publishing work anyway, so I have to do a small game. So I'm going to start off with small games and do really good small games. Drew, I think you'll be alright. Drew, let's see if we can set up computers in five weeks. We got a design guy, we got a tech guy, and we got me as the balanced guy. And nobody's extreme in any one category. They, they favor one category, but we don't have anything where somebody's like 500 design and 2 tech. So I think we'll be okay. Oh man, learning a lot, learning an awful lot. Having a lot of fun with it still though. I hope you guys are having fun watching it. Hopefully you're not taking this as seriously as some people out there do. Oh man, we need some new topics too, but the topics suck until like here. I think startup games are like right here or something. I don't even know what to do with half of those. Right, well, what what have we done? Where are we? Um, let's look at game history. Try not to get still moves. We just did a dungeon RPG. Orc Smash. We've done a sci-fi action game. That was doomed. And we did a racing sim. Right, we could do another space adventure game. It's been a while. We could go for another sports game. Pass the runestone. We could try to redo that. Not necessarily calling it that. And I've also got a list here. Oh god, if I can find it underneath the pile of crap that I have on my desk. Loud noises! Ah! There we go. Uh, yeah, I got a nice little list here of, of things that people have been giving me. So thank you to all two of you who have done that for me. Oh man, sci-fi golf. Can I even do sci-fi golf? I can't even do sci-fi golf yet. Pretty clever names though. I'm especially a fan of Yodeler Hero. I'm looking forward to doing that. I think I'm going to go for Yeti Sports here. We're going to go for another sports game. <sighs> for everyone... Sports, sports, action? Was it sports action? I think it was sports action. Um, I think so. Not gonna go for the gameling, although it is really popular. I don't have a license for it though. That's part of the problem. I don't have a license for a lot of these things, and the gameling's really good for young audiences. Maybe I should do something for the young audience. Let's do something for the young audience. I don't really want to do sports for the young audience. Maybe... Um... Trying to think, like... A sci-fi... I still want to do, like, an RPG something, but the gameling, though. See, and the issue is I don't really remember what games were out for the gameling back in the day, so I don't really know what combinations would be good. I know the young audience is good for that. And kids like kids like sci-fi things. I mean, they like fantasy too. Maybe we could let's re let's research fantasy real quick. I think that was like right here. Yeah, we'll do fantasy. Can we do like a really quick contract with just two people? No, <laughs> no, we can't. You guys just hang tight. We only have a research point. Steadily losing money. It's fine. We're not losing hundreds of thousands every week or month. Got it. All right. New game. Fantasy for young audiences. Fantasy RPG? Fantasy casual? Hmm. Let's try fantasy casual. I'm not really sure what what that would entail. I don't really have many names for a fantasy casual here. Hmm. 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 
fantasy casual. I'm thinking fantasy. So we got like Candyland and dragons and pixies and casual though. So it's laid back. So I don't know. Lazy pixie. That's not how you spell pixie. Oh my god. How do you spell pixie? Oh Jesus Christ. I don't even know. Pixie? No, that's pikey. Pixie? Lazy pixie? Pixie? I don't even... Oh god. Pixie. There, yeah, Pixie. There we go. We'll go with that. Ugh. Jesus, it stands out though. Fucking A. Alright. How do you spell Pixie? P-I-X-S-Y? Oh, God. I don't even know. Alright, we'll go with the 81 point... Oh, because I can't... I think I also... I think I roll out new engines too quickly is also part of the issue. Spends a lot of money. Or it costs a lot of money to do that, and I do it way too often. So really, I think I'm just trying to move along too quickly. I mean, we got a lot of years here. I mean, I think it's default 30 years. I mean, we got 25 years to figure out what's going on. So definitely want to have gameplay. Starting quests I don't think would matter too much. I'm thinking mostly just engine. I mean, let's let's kind of balance out engine and story quests and go heavy gameplay. It's a casual game, so you got to be really immersed into the gameplay. First and foremost. And there's a Govador filing for bankruptcy. That's where we're at right now, way back in the day. Let's see how this goes. Can we get... What's going on here? One design, one technology? Really, guys? What's this? Why can't I click up there? Huh. Alright. Uh... Right, okay, anyway, moving on. Not so much dialogues. Probably not so much AI. God, I don't even know. Casual games, so probably... Oh my gosh, I don't know, guys. Probably not much dialogues. A little bit of AI, I'm thinking level design, and then probably world design and graphics. 200,000 from the Govador. Not much. I won't miss it. Our first game was on it, though, was the text-based, because I wanted to give that a shot and see how it worked. Um, I suppose we can emphasize a bit on sound, too. Fantasy casual is so broad. Well, I was thinking world design and graphics, so I think let's go for that. Not so much in sound. I don't know. I feel like this is going to be an epic flop. Especially since the points are so low. Then again, it is early on. I feel like three people should have been able to do better though. Any ironing at all? A little bit, a little bit. There we go. We only have 2,800 fans anyway. Ugh, God, one person had broken these records. Ugh. So bad. 2D graphics leveled up though. We'll release it. Really not sure about it. We can do 3D graphics. Marketing would be really good because marketing doesn't require me to do a engine overhaul um you know what oh god pixie awful right disappointing yeah not much fun i feel like it was probably a bad combination level design served it very well all right some actual feedback all right all right well it was about as bad as i thought it would be so let's go. Let's go with the space adventure game on the on the game lane. I don't know. Star Rider for the young audience. I'm thinking game lane young audience trying to take advantage of this stuff while it's still popular with kids. It's got like a third of the market share has to have good gameplay. I think everything should always have good gameplay. Can't imagine anything without good gameplay. Let's emphasize a bit on engine, not so much story and quests. It's an adventure game. There we go. That's a little better for a first stage. It's a lot better than 1-1. One, one. Alright, so this, this is good so far. Um, probably level design, yeah, absolutely. Um, AI... Yeah, a little bit of AI. Well, 
No, because, I mean, you'd be going around talking to people, too, like talking to aliens and stuff like that. They don't need to necessarily move around much. But they should definitely have, like, their own, ang uh, own language and stuff like that. And they actually be able to talk to them and be like, hey, what's going on on this planet? And they'll be like, oh, well, you know, our rings fell off the planet and horrible things are going on with that. Even though it doesn't make sense, but we're still trying to figure out dialogue. So it works for us. Graphics, yes. World design, yes. Really, I mean, everything. But if I were to cut anything... I guess probably cut sound. I mean, it's space. Can't really... There's no oxygen in space, so you can't really have much sound in space because sound is like the oscillation of oxygen. Um... Oscillation of oxygen? No, I'm just getting fancy with words. It's late, leave me alone. I shouldn't even be recording right now, but I am anyway. Because I'm addicted to this game. I'm addicted to failure. I guess world design graphics, not so much sound. We'll see. <sighs> Pixie, still losing fans. People are still buying it though. Not sure why. And no bugs? Wow, we actually did that without bugs? That makes me feel good. If only it actually meant anything. Oh, there's a bug. Alright, I think after this we're going to get some training in. Probably a good round of training. New record for design. No new combo, great combo, nothing like that. I don't think it tells you after the first time. That's fine. Let's go for... Uh, Yeah, I know, training's important. Don't do too many sessions at once, right? Because I think that's like chain training, and I think it actually does influence it a lot because they only start getting plus one, if anything. So for you, since you're kind of my tech guy, I think coding complete would be an important one for you. Oh god. Star Rider reviews. Four. Oh god, not bad, not good from Star Games. Five. Falls a bit short from Informed Gamer. Five has its moments from Game Hero. You guys keep in mind it's for a young audience, right? Like, maybe? I don't know. Alright. Um, god, your tech is really bad. Maybe game dev gems for both? Just straight up game design for pirates. And for me, let's go speed or research probably. Or just straight up game dev gems, get design and technology, why not? From time to time my employees need to recharge their batteries. Right, that's why I'm just doing training right now because by the time they finish training they should need to go on vacation. Oh, Star Rider. Takes these off the market, only generated just over 100,000. Uh, uh, new topics. Star Rider is... No, Star Rider's not a new topic. Fantasy was a new topic for me. Hmm. Alright. I think I'm gonna head back to the PC. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna head back to the PC. Um. Get something going there. Maybe I can just do like a sci-fi RPG or something. Let's go with Don't Repeat Yourself. I'll do two training sessions. While they're away, I'll do another one. Seems to be okay to do two in a row. <sighs> Star Riders off the market. Because I would hate to do a medium game and just have it completely flop. But I suppose it wouldn't hurt to research it right now. Just in case, we, I'll take a look at publishing deals every now and again. You never know, maybe there'll be one that's like really good and perfect for me. Really dedicated fans of Shooter, yeah let them be, they're doing their like, thing. It's fine, it's non-profit. I'm okay with it. There you go, my training finishes up, he researches medium games. I'll take a look at the publishing things. Said so I'll take a look at the publishing things. Yes, I get it. I should have turned tutorial off. I had it on just in case I forgot things, but I didn't transport any genre. Uh, pirate casual. Uh, Sci-fi adventure. Uh, minimum score eight. Uh, uh, I don't think so. Let's... Let's go with what we do best. Let's go with a uh, sci-fi action. 
for the PC, mature audience. We're going with it. Doomed 2. It's not actually a sequel. Because I don't think we can do sequels. Can we do sequels? We can't do sequels. Um, can I research sequels? I can't. Ooh, 3D graphics. I would need to make a new, um, new engine for that, though. Alright, let's just mature. Sci-fi. Action. For the PC, it's not a new topic, but I think my new topics are crap right now, aren't they? History, transport, music. Ugh, pirate. I could do a pirate action. Let's go for that. That's a Sega Genesis. That's cool. Any quick contract work that I can have those two do while I research? Sprite Tree Software. That's easy. Go for it. 6-9. It's easy. Let's keep them, keep them busy while I do this. Uh, fan of Shooter. Right. They're just glad that I didn't shut them down for their modding project or whatever it was. I forget. Right, okay, pirate's done. Good, new game. Um, I guess everyone is fine. Pirate, action. For the... Mm, game Link's got so many people on it. I feel bad not doing Game Link. <sighs> pirate, action. Hmm... Hmm. Hmm. Pirates. Thinking like eye patches, cutlasses, blackbeard, redbeard. Um, redbeards. Red breads? Redbeards. Oh my gosh, it's so late. Redbeards. I don't know. Redbeards, cutlass. Sure. For everyone. For young? Young. Gameling. Young audience. Yes, I'm not imagining this, am I? I hope I'm not. Um, not so much during quests. Not so much at all. We'll keep it really low. Um, a little bit internet spills, mostly gameplay. Go. Great start! Okay, there we go. Now they're coming. Jeez. Slow start, slow start. That's fine. Um, don't really need much dialogues. AI is important, though, as is level design. I think we're going to go mostly AI, a little bit of level design, not so much dialogue. And the third one, not so much world design, mostly graphics and sound. Emphasis on graphics. It's got to look good, even though it's a game link. Kids like pretty things, though. There we go. I feel like this is going to be a flop too. Any ironing at all? A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Alright. Good. It's a new topic, so it's a trend match, but it's not a new record by any stretch of the imagination. I'm actually less efficient having people with me. New topic, new combo. Not a great combo, but it is a trend match. Apparently pirate and action don't go well together. Hmm. All right, straight away, new game. We're doing what I was going to do, which was going to be the sci-fi action um, for the PC, because it's going to be mature audience. Yeti 1.1. It's doomed to go for it. Please don't be horrible. I'm okay with average, but just don't be horrible. Seven, good game from Star Games. Thank you. That's all I wanted. I just wanted some recognition. Eight. Very good from Informed Gamer. Hey. Nine. Great game from Game Hero. Jeez, guys. I don't know about that. Seven, eight, nine. <laughs> and a seven from all games. Oh, man. All right. So, well, good. 